Hello Grade 7 Learners and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Kung bago ko pa lang sa channel ko, please don't forget to subscribe and hit the post notification bell para updated ka every time na magpo-post ako ng bagong video. So for today's video, I will be discussing about complementary and supplementary angles. So these angles are special angle relationships. So, ano nga ba ang kaibahan ng complementary angles sa supplementary angles? Or, how are we going to get the measure of its complement and the measure of its supplement? So, let's have the definition. Complementary angles, so ang kanyang initial letter ay letter C. So, which means corner. It is a right angle. So, when we say complementary angles, two angles whose sum is 90 degrees. Meaning, when you add the two given angles, kailangan ang kanyang sum or result should be exactly 90 degrees. While supplementary angles, so ang kanyang initial letter ay letter S, which means straight and straight angle measures exactly 180 degrees. Thus, two angles whose sum is 180 degrees. So, when you say supplementary angles, so, dalawang angles, kapag pinag mo, ang sum or result should be equal to 180 degrees. So, let's have an example. Meron tayong measure of angle na given, so, items 1 to 4. Kukuhanin natin ang measure of its complement and the measure of its supplement. So, for example, number 1, 85 degrees. So, what is the measure of its complement na 85 degrees? So, therefore, 90 minus 85. So, ima-minus lang natin yung 85 from 90 degrees. And that is 5 degrees. So, when we add 85 and 5, that is 90. So, 85 degrees and 5 degrees ay complementary angles. So, ganun lang siya kadali. So, how about the measure of its supplement? So, therefore, 180 minus 85 is 95 degrees. So, as is as that. Okay, so let's have another example. For number 2, 38 degrees. So, 90 minus 38 degrees is 52 degrees. How about its supplement? So, 180 minus 38 degrees is 142 degrees. So, let's move to our third example. So, 105 degrees. So, what is the measure of its complement? So, notice that the given measure is greater than 100, uh, 105 degrees. So, therefore, there is no complement. So, there is none. So, how about its supplement? So, 180 degrees minus 105 degrees is 75 degrees. And for our last given, so you have here x, so variable x, so therefore its complement is 90 minus x. So, therefore, itong x na to ay any variable. So, or any values na pwede natin i-substitute sa given variable na x. How about its supplement? Okay, so 180 minus x. So, let's have our problem. Two angles are supplementary angles. So, therefore, when we add the two angles, the measurement should be equal to 180 degrees. For our given, one angle is 32 degrees larger than the other. So, ibig sabihin, yung isang angle daw ay mas malaki ng 32 degrees kesa doon sa smaller angle. So, we need to find the measure of both angles. So, how are we going to solve the problem? Of course, we need to write the given. So, let x be the smaller angle. So, nag-denote tayo dito ng variable x para sa ating smaller angle. And then, sinabi doon na one angle is 32 
larger than the other. So, ibig sabihin, mas malaki daw sa smaller angle ng 32. So, therefore, for our larger angle, so we can denote it as x for the smaller angle plus 32 degrees. That is for the larger angle. Again, so ang ating smaller angle ay x, yung ating larger angle ay mas malaki daw sa smaller angle ng 32. So, that's why it is x plus 32. So, let's have our solution. So, since the two angles are supplementary, so kapag pinag-add daw natin itong dalawa, it must be equal to 180 degrees. So, that is x plus x plus 32 equals to 180 degrees. We just add the two angles and then it must be equal to 180 degrees since they are supplementary angles. Then combine like terms. So x plus x is 2x plus 32 equals to 180. Then 2x equals to 180. The additive inverse of 32, pag nilipat natin sa right side, ay magiging minus 32. Then 2x equals to 180 minus 32. We have here 148. And then, since merong constant na 2 dito sa x, we need to apply the multiplication property of equality by multiplying both sides by 1 half or simply divide both sides by 2 para makancel natin. So, therefore, x equals 148 divides 2 is 74. So, that is the value of x. So, therefore... Yung ating smaller angle, which is x, ay 74 degrees. At yung ating uh, larger angle is 74 plus 32 equals 106 degrees. So, therefore, the measure of the two given angles in the problem are 74 degrees and 160 degrees. So, I hope that you learned something today about complementary and supplementary angles. So, don't forget to share this video with others and don't forget to like and share. See you on my next video lesson. Thank you for watching.